During the influenza pandemic in 2009 and 2010, the conversation online was broadly neutral. At the beginning, people had questions. What's the disease? What are the symptoms? Where is it? Um, is there a vaccine? When will the vaccine become available? But over time, the conversation turned negative. And because there was no one there to make the case for vaccination, uh, negative stories and anti-vaccination voices filled the vacuum. At the time, health authorities, the industry, healthcare professionals were much more reluctant to go on social media and were much slower to respond to things in real time. I think over the six years that Vaccines Today has been online, uh, all stakeholders have improved their work considerably. Um, for our part, we're on all the social media channels and we'll open new channels if that's where the debate goes. But also you can see much more healthcare professionals on Twitter, on Facebook, and that health authorities and uh, transnational organizations like WHO are really proactive and they take this seriously. They're professional uh, social media and communications people who are there, they're communicating positively and applying the latest knowledge uh, in, in communications theory to reach people with messages that work.